Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. First, we'll get our integer n and then we'll get the length and breadth of n rectangles and then we have to print the total rectangles that is count of the total rectangles and total area of n rectangles so here you must also get the integer ex and after getting the ex we have to delete the x rectangle from the rectangles and then we have to print the area that is we have to print the length, breadth, and the area of n minus 1 rectangles. So, after this, we have to print the count of total rectangles and the total area of n rectangles, n minus 1. So, first we are going to accept the integer n and then the length and breadth of the n rectangles and then the integer x. And after this, we have to print the count of total rectangles and total area of n rectangles. And then we have to delete the x -th rectangle and print the length, breadth, area of n minus 1 rectangle. And then we have to print the count of total rectangles and total area of n minus 1 rectangle. So this is our first case. So here we have five rectangles. Now let us get the total area for each rectangle. So area is length into breadth as we know. So 2 into 5, 10. And then here the area is 24. Here it is 24. Here it is 18. And here it is 20. So we have got the areas. So total rectangle is 5 and the total area is 20 plus 18 plus 24 plus 24 plus 10 which gives you 96. Now after this we have the x as 2 so we have to remove the second rectangle. So we will remove this rectangle and then after this will have to print the length that is 2 and then the breadth that is 5 and then the area that is 10. So similarly for all the other three rectangles we have the length, breadth and area. So next one is 3, 8, 24. then 6, 3, 18 and then 5, 4, 20. So now we have got the length, breadth and area and then we have to print the count of total rectangles and total area of n minus 1 rectangle. Now the count is 4 and total area of the n minus 1 rectangle is 72. So this will be our output. Now we'll take our another test case. So in this test case we have four rectangles. Now the area of each rectangle. Here it is 200. Here it is 900. Here it is 225.
So now we have got the area. And after this, we have to remove the fourth rectangle as the x is 4. So total area is 1725. Now we'll remove the x rectangle. And then we've got three rectangles. And now the length breadth is length is 10, then breadth is 20, and the area is 200. Similarly, for other two rectangles, thirty, thirty, and then nine hundred, and then fifteen, fifteen, two twenty-five, and now the count of rectangles is three, and then. The total area of n minus 1 rectangle is 1325. So this will be our output. Now let's see how to solve this program. First we have to get the total number of rectangles in DJN. And then we have a list for the rectangles. And then we'll iterate over CTR in range of n. And then we'll get the length and breadth. And then we'll append the length and breadth to the class rectangle and then we'll get the integer x and we have to print the rectangle count and total area and then delete the x rectangle and then for the rect in rectangles we have to print the rectangle and then again we have to print the rectangle count and total area so now we'll have the class rectangle so inside the class rectangle, we'll have the rectangle count and the total area as zero initially. So after this, we have to get the length and breadth. So for that, we have init of self comma length comma breadth and inside this we'll get self dot length equal to length and then self dot breadth equal to breadth now the rectangle count will refer to this rectangle count equal to zero and total area here so here we have done yeah, we have defined the constructor for getting the rectangle count and total area and the length and breadth. So now the rectangle count will be incremented with 1 and then the rectangle dot total area will be incremented with the length into breadth. So as we know, the area is length into breadth. So it will be incremented as self length into self breadth. So now we have done with the rectangle count and total area. And now after this, We have to delete the x rectangle. So here to delete the rectangles of x minus 1, the rectangle count will be decremented by 1 and the area will also be deleted. So let's see. So inside delete, we have the rectangle count will be decremented by 1 so as a rectangle is deleted and then the total area will be decremented with the self dot length into self dot width and after that we have to overwrite with r e p r of self and inside it we have to return 
the length, the breadth, and the area dot format self dot length. So they'll be in the format with commas in between them. So self dot length comma self dot width and and the area so first we have getting the constructor to get the rectangle count and the total area and then we perform the delete of the x rectangle so after that we print the rectangle length, breadth and area. 